My name is Kas, I'm from the Netherlands, um, and I'm visiting Japan for a few days. I'm a student, I study biology. Right. My name is Chris, I'm also from the Netherlands, Kas uh, is my brother. So you just arrived in Tokyo? Yeah, yeah, we just arrived. First day, yeah, we were very tired, um, we just had a night in the plane and we didn't sleep at all, so we just went to a park and slept in the su <laughs> sunshine. <laughs> it's actually really nice weather here in November, so uh, yeah, okay. we arrived at night and then uh -huh. we took the train to Tokyo, we put our bags at the hostel because uh -huh. we couldn't check in yet, so uh -huh. then we went to the park and uh, slept. We had to wait for like eight hours before we could check in. And then the second day, uh, we went to the Imperial Palace and the Imperial Gardens, mm -hmm. which was really beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> did you try sake? No, I no? have not oh, tried yeah. it. So it's kind of the Japanese wine? Yeah, it's kind of Japanese wine. But does it taste like wine? Like European uh, wine? Or? It's not that taste like wine, because wine is made of uh, grapes. Yeah, yeah. But Japanese wine is made of uh, rice. Yeah, rice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, different. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. I like I it. Actually, yeah. I do think it tastes a bit like wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. I, yeah, I, like I really it. like it. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of strange to drink sake in the middle of the afternoon. But <laughs> yes. okay, okay. So, how many more days you can get off in the uh, school? Um, very free. Like, at my university, you can decide yourself when, you're, when you do whatever. And I just finished my internship. In China. Ah, in China. And when I get back, um, I have to start my graduation project. And then I can start like a few weeks later than normal and finish a few weeks later. A few weeks later, later than normal. So. Uh, what do you study? Uh, we're both master's students and I'm doing biology in the yeah, field of molecular biology and genetics. And I'm doing applied physics. Sounds complicated. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he doesn't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> So what kind of job do you want to get after the graduation of your university? It's a very difficult question, like I'm not sure because I'm about to graduate and I've done six years of studying at university but I still don't really know what I want to do, yeah, yeah. Because for my specialization you have to be in the lab a lot and I found that I don't really like being in the lab, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's sort of similar for me, uh, but I will start with my graduation project, this is the largest project for me to do my study and I'll discover a bit about what I like and see from there what kind of job I would like to follow as well. Now we have to show our chopstick skills. skills. Like, oh, yeah. uh, we are trained in uh, China. Yeah. Using chopsticks it must be good. Well. <laughs> This is called tendon? Yeah, no, it's a tempura. Tempura? Yeah, but the tendon is like a rice bowl, and then on top of it we put the tempura. Ah, okay. So that's called tendon. Ah, mm -hmm. This looks good and it smells good. Mm. Ah, I like this, you yeah. should try it. Pumpkin? Yes. <laughs> you maybe better to hold up. The rice bowl to just in case you drop. Yeah, <laughs> I was Smart. holding on for dear life. So it... mm -hmm. It's really good. <laughs> I really like the taste. Yeah, yeah. And what is this white thing here? I don't even know what it is called. Turn it. Turn it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So in Netherlands, what kind of food do you usually eat at your house? I think in the Netherlands, for, for lunch, it's quite typical to eat like bread with cheese or yeah, ham cheese. or peanut butter. Okay. Peanut butter. Just very simple. <laughs> but actually, we also have like, it's very Dutch and we call it hagelslag. Uh, which is basically just chocolate sprinkles mm -hmm. and you put it on your bread or something or you actually put peanut butter on your bread and then you put this chocolate sprinkles on your bread and you yeah. fold it and you just eat it. How about for our dinner? Yeah, for dinner we have the... If you're really traditional Dutch, like when we would have a dish, you would have a plate and then there is mashed potato with mashed carrot, onion, whatever and then you have like part of the sausage with it. Like there's this very typical uh, actually, like more like sausage, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it the box. It's like a U-shaped uh, sausage.
Mm. It has a very specific taste. Mm. Like, also familiar. Usually soup, we have it as a pumpkin soup. Oh, pumpkin soup. Oh, yeah, pumpkin soup. Okay. I like it too. Yeah. Oh, we actually have pea soup. Yeah, during the winter time. I don't know, if it, is it also really Dutch? Yeah, maybe. pea soup is very thick, like the little uh, green balls. And often it's filled with like uh, potato and some kind of meat. Also yeah. carrots and onion. Yeah, it's fish. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I like this as well. Yeah. I think it's uh, similar to a sort of typical Dutch fish, fish. Ah. kibbling. Kibbling? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have fried fish. It kind of looks like uh, nuggets or something from McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> it's a squid. 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 Oh, yes. Hmm. I like the flavor. It's uh, yeah. pretty good. Is this. this? Yeah, that's the squid. Yes. Ah, okay. I'm very curious. I don't even, even know if I ever had squid. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I thought it would be a bit fishy or something. Yeah. It's really nice that we're trying this food now because otherwise I don't think I would have ever ordered tempura myself. Um, mm -hmm. Come here. Come back. Come back. Come back. Yeah. How do you call it in Dutch? Do you say uh, post? Post. Post. Uh, it's like a German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you speak German? We, we speak Dutch, mm -hmm. but in high school uh, we learn German and French a little bit. Like every, even if you don't have any lessons or something, every Dutch person can understand German to some degree uh -huh. because the words are so similar. And oh, okay. Yeah. But I wouldn't. I think my French is better than my German. It's the opposite for me. But I've had like five years of German. Mm -hmm. But you don't use it after high school, so you forget it. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. In high school, the focus is really on, more on English than on French in general. Uh, which I think is really nice because, for, in my opinion, German and French people should also you know, speak English at a high level, which I think is also the case. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then we can all communicate with each other, you know. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. That's true. So if I go to uh, Netherlands, which places do you recommend for our sightseeing? Of course, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone goes there. You can uh, smoke some weed or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, know, I knew it. The coffee shop. Somehow. Coffee shop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Last video. Yeah. <laughs> I also like Utrecht, which is quite close to Amsterdam. I would say 20 minutes by train. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Utrecht. It's a very nice name to pronounce as well. <laughs> I feel like it's a bit like um, Amsterdam, but then uh, smaller and no tourists. Yeah, a lot less tourists. Yeah, in Amsterdam you're just like swimming in a sea of tourists, uh -huh. and in Utrecht you don't have that. What is the city you're from? Mm. It's called Eindhoven. Fifth biggest city of the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> it's where uh, Philips was founded. Do you know the brand? Philips is Dutch company. Yeah. Yep. What is the reason why you came to Japan? I mean, I know you guys from uh, Asian countries like you know, China and then Korea. Yeah. What, what do you expect from a uh, Japanese trip? What I expected? Yeah. Uh, I expected a lot of flashing lights, a lot of crazy fashion. Um, yeah, exactly. Actually, also some beautiful temples, old traditional culture things. Yeah. And actually, Tokyo was really on my list. Like, I really want to go there mm -hmm. because I think the culture is so different. Different. Yeah. Like, it's a prosperous country, but still. It's so different from Western countries. And yeah, like we were just walking here in Tokyo streets, and then suddenly you don't have to cross a fence or something, but then there's this temple, oh, you yeah. know, and you're just standing there. Yeah, that's really it's impressive. Just all is just mixed together. Yeah. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. real yeah. full. <laughs> I mean, it was good. Yeah. Same for me. I think the uh -huh. <laughs> deep fried taste is really good. But also, the fish was really nice. Uh -huh. right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah.